Hey, what's going on everybody? Just wanted to uh, reach out with a quick video, just with an update on today's vote of non-confidence. Unfortunately, as we all expected, and I, I got my hopes up as I shouldn't have, I know. But, of course, 204 members of Parliament decided not to vote for an election. Which includes pretty much every single Liberal and NDP MP, as well as some members from the Bloc. So now apparently we have three parties who don't want what's best for Canadians. Three parties full of cowards who don't like what's happening and they're going to fight for Canadians, but they won't give you the right to choose your new leader. They could have done that today and they decided not to. 204 cowards. So just remember, when one of these people, um, one of these members of parliament, if they're a representative of your riding... Give them a piece of your mind. Don't vote for them the next time they're up. Because they have decided as of today, well, as of a long time, we, most people knew this. But if you're an NDP supporter and you don't like Trudeau, your whole party just turned the back, their backs on you. If you live in Hamilton, where I live, Andrea Horwath, NDP, or former NDP member, she left the NDP, but the NDP didn't leave her. Now, she's the mayor of the city, but look at what's happening with Hamilton. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. So the NDP has made... They've given many, many examples of where they clearly do not give a shit about Canadians. They give a shit about their pension. They give a shit about their coalition. They give a shit about their status. And that's it. They don't care if you can live. They don't care if you can eat. They don't care if you can heat. They just proved it today. And if you didn't believe that before, you still don't believe it now, then I, I don't know where your head's at. They could have given Canadians, who are supposed to be the employers, and our politicians are supposed to be the employees, they could have given us an opportunity to fire our idiot of a leader, if you even want to call him that. And they said, nope, sorry, you got to continue to suffer for almost two more fucking years. And these are the same people who will look you in the eye or look in, into the camera and tell you they stand for you, they stand for Canadians. They just prove that they don't. Keep that in mind when we do head and do an election. A new Nano's poll came out today, and it actually shows the Conservatives were down a point, and the Liberals were up a point and a half, so now it's close to a 15-point a margin, which isn't as big as it should be. So if you're upset about what happened today, as you should be, unless you're an idiot... You might want to think about joining the Conservatives, even if you're not conservative like me. Most of my ideologies align with what liberals used to believe in. But now they're just, they, they just care about this woke bullshit, let's tax everything, let's virtue signal, let's cancel, let's, <laughs> let's be an authoritarian, let's violate Canadians' human charter of rights. And now, after all that, you're going to see a 23% carbon tax increase April 1st. And our MPs had a chance to help us out with that today. And they decided to stick it up your ass. So just keep that in mind, guys, when we have an election. If you care about Canada, if you care about your fellow Canadians, you won't vote for the Liberals, you won't vote for the NDP. And I understand it's like, well, the Conservatives, they're corrupt. Yes, they are. I agree with you. But the last time the middle class was thriving, or at least even close to thriving, was before Trudeau set foot in office. So maybe you don't like Pierre Paul, yeah, maybe you don't like the Conservatives. I don't like the Conservatives. We don't have a libertarian populist party in Canada, so I don't really have a, a political party that I belong to. But with, with, when you see what the Bloc and the NDP and the Liberals are doing, I could never vote for them. Never. So I have no choice but to vote conservative. And if you feel like me, and you just stay home, you don't vote, go out and vote. Send these people a message. Send these people a message saying you're not going to get in for a long time, and not only are you going to lose the next election, it's going to be a landslide. Because we need a fucking change, and we need it now.